Hi guys, this is iTouch coming your way again uh, with a video about uh, building a smart home. Today we're going to look at how to install uh, a smart thermo thermostat. We'll look at the uh, the Nest Learning Thermostat. The first thing you want to do is to do a compatibility check just to make sure that the Nest Thermostat is compatible with your uh, heat and cooling system. Um, so you go to the site, the Google Store site, or you can just Google um, Nest Thermostat Compatibility Checker. He takes you to the site, and um, let me go up here. So this is it, and then you will click on Get Started. It's going to ask you. Um, a few things. So you have to first power off your system, add a fuse box, and then you remove the cover, and then um, you pop off the front cover of the, uh, the thermostat, just to be able to get the to the wires and the labels on there. You click on Nest, and you want to take a look at this very well. Now, your the Nest thermostat would not be compatible with your system if you, any of these you have any of these setups so if your your thermostat has a standard wires it will not work if there are uh, these type of thick standard wires um, that are connected by nuts it, it will not work and then if you it shows that you have a 110 volts or 120 volts just like what we have up here it will not work. You may be having or using the old system and you may need to consult a specialist, um, a special technician to help you. Now, you once you pop up and open the thermostat, you want to look at the labels here and pick the wires you have. Um, in my setup, I do have a C I have a G, I have a Y, I have an OB, and then you can click more to see more wires here. So let's see what else um, we have here. Okay, so I think that is all I have. Um, and then I'll go to Nest. It's going to ask you to take a quick look. Um, so you want to take a picture of your setup first just so that you can have a reference point or in a situation where you have to go back and install the old setup um, so let's go back up here I think I missed one of the wires so let me go back and check it again real quick so I have a Y, um, let me check the Y's real quick and I'll be right back. My thermostat is the Honeywell. I have to switch up. So all I have to do here is to pop out this um, front panel and then um, I will pull this cover and then I'll see the wires here. So here's the wires. I do have a Y, G, C, and then I, this is the O slash B. I have a W2, and I have a R. So just take note of the wires, and then you put it in the checker. Okay, now we're back on the computer just to uh, make sure we pick the right wires. So I have a Y, I have a G, let's look at G, where you, G, G1, G2. And then I have a C, I have the OB, I have a W2, and I have an R. Perfect. Now we got it. Okay, perfect. So now it, it wants to ask you if you have a dual fuel system, which is what I have in my case. I have a furnace and um, a heat pump. So I'll pick yes up here. And now it tells me that the Nest thermostat will work in my home, which is good. So all these models are compatible. 
Um, you can do it yourself, which is really easy, which is what I'm going to teach you today. Um, and I do have the Nest Learning Thermostat. I think I, I like that one. I click on it to get some more details. Let's see what we got here. Well, this is it. Um, I have the same type. Um, it is up here that I got. So I'm going to do the installation. Um, I already popped up the uh, panel that uh, I'll do the connection of the wires just to take a look and get ready for the setup. So you see all the the wires I, I saw in my system are labeled here. So it will be a pretty straightforward connection. All right, let's get to the job. Now this is the plate. It's nice and good to have a plate so that you install uh, before you install your thermostat. Now let's get to the job. All right, so uh, now I need to pop out this plate, you just do it gently. I've already taken a picture of the setup and I pull this one again. Okay, so to remove these wires, I just have to press each of these and then I'll pull out the wires. I'll remove the plate and then get this one out. Okay. So um, again, it's very important you take a picture of your setup and connections to use as a reference. So let's take a picture now. I have a picture of this one is for the downstairs setup. I've taken a picture of it. Now I will, let me take these screws. And then I'll take this one out as well. All right, so now let's, uh, I have it out. You have to be careful. You, you see that there's two wires here that are not connected. So at the back, there's two wires that are not part of your setup. So make sure you don't connect those wires. They are not to be connected at all. You only connect the wires that you see in here that you took a picture of. Okay, now we'll pull these wires one after the other. You just want to do it gently. Okay. Now I'll press this one, take this one out. And now I'm left with the yellow one. Check it out. It may be helpful if you label your wires. So in case you don't have a picture of it, you label it. So let's do this. Um, and this is the auxiliary. I'll press it and I'll take it out. It's really tight in there. Let's see. Okay. Alright, now I have all the wires out and I'll gently pull them through. Alright, now we are going to do the installation. Okay, now we need to install this plate, so we push all these wires through. trying to use the same uh, drill holes, the same screw holes, so that we don't have to uh, make new holes. So let's see, the other hole is down here. Okay. I think uh, we'll... 
definitely need to make one more screw. One more hole. Let's get this one on. Alright, so one quick uh, thing we need to backtrack. So I need to take out this screw before I screw it in. I need to put this places first and then screw over it so that I can use the level to adjust it. So we'll take this screw out and then redo the process. Now we have it installed the right way. Okay. So now we just need to do the connections and then you use a level to adjust it just so that it's positioned, uh, it's, it's leveled and positioned well. So I think we do have it right just a little bit. Let's shift it just a little bit. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we're going to connect the wires the same way we had it. The red would go to the RH. Now I just want to be careful. There's RC and RH. The red always goes to the um, RH. And then the yellow will go to the Y1. And then the green to the G. And then you have a blue to the C. Uh, one of the blue, okay, and the other white goes to the, um, let's see here, okay, the orange will go to the OB, so let's do that. You can use a pair of pliers to help you to put it in here. Now you press here, to, and then you push the wires through. Once you press it, it releases it and then you push the wires through. So let's do the installation real quick. Finally, so we have all the wires in. Make sure um, everything is intact. Um, now we'll just uh, install this one. Just position it this way and make sure it's um, going in the right way. And then you just pop it in. Perfect. Now we have it installed. We are ready to turn on the uh, uh, the meter of the pot from the power box, the fuse box, and then we get this going. All right. Okay. Now we're ready to turn on the uh, the power from the main switch. So we turn on this one. And this one for the AC. Okay. Now we're back here. Um, the thermostat is starting up. Let's see. Maybe we'll take it through just the basic setups. And then we should be good to go. Okay. Okay, so the wiring to your equipment has changed. Let's do continue. So the equipment has been detected. We have the heat. Let's take a picture of this. Auxiliary is orange, the blue, the power. Uh, the heat pump and the green is fine. Okay, then we continue. Okay, you can test it or just do continue. So we click it continue. Okay, heat type, heat pump. Let's see. Setting so he tie pump was just to continue. Okay, now it has a heat on. It's 
so we can just uh Now you can set it up with your Wi-Fi. Let's go to the settings. Um, and then you can do the different type of setups. Find the saver. Detect the uh, let's go back, pick the right network. I can do this one. I'll put in the all right. So we all set up. Um, you can uh, now. Be happy and enjoy it you can connect it with your alexa or your uh, google home and harbor and you should be good to go thank you